In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the user interface of Motion Builder 2014. If you are using other version of Motion Builder, the user interface will be more, more or less the same. Once you switch on Motion Builder, you have a main window, and you have a lot of smaller windows around it. You can use the handles to resize the uh, windows, and you can drag them around. Motion Builder provides you with different predefined layout. You can use the layout menu to select them. For our purpose today, the editing layout will fit us the best. So now we wish to um, control the main window. Motion Builder provides you with different keyboard shortcut. If you are familiar with Maya, you can use the Maya keyboard shortcuts to control the main window. But today, we'll use the Motion Builder one. If you wish to rotate the window, you can press Shift on the keyboard and right jet the main window. To translate it, you press Shift and left jet it. Finally, to zoom in and zoom out, you press Ctrl on the keyboard and right drag the main window. If you don't wish to remember all the keyboard shortcuts, you can also use the small button above the main window to control the, mo the main window. Now we wish to open some files and show it in the main window. This next file opened. And we can open, say for example, the 11 character file. Now it's here. If there are lots of material you wish to import into the scenes, it will be more convenient to use the asset browser here. You right click here and add a favorite path. I have a character folder on my desktop, so I just point the favorite folder to the character folder of my desktop. Then in order to add a character into it, say 11 again, all we need to do is to drag the icon of 11, FBX opened, and low animation. And then we open the FBX file. If we wish to add in more character, we select FBX merge this time and no animation. This is because we wish to merge two FBX file into one, which is now presenting in our scenes. Now we have Edward here with 11. The character control window provides lots of functionality to control the character. We can select which character we wish to control, either 11 or Edward. You can notice that once we select a character, the navigator window changes. The navigator window basically shows whatever we have select and also the parameter for the object we select. Now we select 11. We can find that there are lots of parameters for the character 11. Similarly for Edward, we have a lot of parameters here as well. Apart from selecting the character from the character control window, we can also select the character from the scenes folder in the navigator window. The scenes folder basically contains everything in the scenes. Say for example the mesh for 11, also the joints for 11, everything. 